I'll tell you why, because again, there's this question of important cases, as I said, which are politically inconvenient to the government are put on hold. But then cases which where the government wants a speedy hearing, and, and you'd be aware of this, that when there was this hearing on Saturday convened to hear the case of GN Sai Baba, who was charged, you know, in the Maoist case, he was granted bail by the High Court, the Maharashtra government challenges, and an unusual Saturday hearing was heard. Why unusual? Because many believe it's unprecedented for the why, Supreme why Court to hear, a, to hear a, a matter on Saturday, especially when it comes to suspend an order of discharge and acquittal and see, keep people in jail. You don't think it's unusual at all? I look at it this way. See, as a Chief Justice, because you are now, because I formed that bench, yes. correct? So therefore, I must also explain in what circumstances the bench came to be formed and how. Okay. See, as Chief Justice, I had two occasions to form special benches. Mm. One, immediately, I think the second day that I took over, I, my first working day was 20, 29th. Right. 30th was the second day. Right. 31st was Ganesh Chaturthi Day. So there was this Ganesh Chaturthi program, the Karnataka government had allowed Ganesh Chaturthi Pandal to be re erected at one of the Idga Maidans. Mm. So there was a challenge. The matter came before a bench of Justice Hemant Gupta and Justice Sudhan Chodhulia right. on 30th. There was a disagreement between them. So I was in a bench with Justice Ravindra Bhatt and at 3.45 we were to sit along with Justice Dhulia in another three-judge combination. Hmm. So at 3.40 or so, two counsel, Kapil Sibal and Dushandavi came and mentioned the matter saying that there is a disagreement. I said, I am going to be in a combination of three, so I can logically hear that, but there is Justice Dulia part of that, hmm. who was part of the earlier bench, hmm. where there was a hmm. disagreement. So I said, give me five minutes, I'll rise. We rose, and I just got hold of the judges who were available in the courts. To form the? To form the bench. Okay. Four of them came to my chamber, Justice Call, Justice Banerjee. Justice Call was sitting with Justice Oak, Banerjee was sitting with Justice... Sundaresh. Right. Justice Call had some difficulty, so I formed a bench of three of them. Mm. At 5.30, the bench again took over. Correct? Okay. So these are the kind of situations where a Chief Justice has to form a bench as early as possible. But why would the necessity now, now, be in I'll, this case? I'll, yes. I'll again come to that. The matter was mentioned that day, Friday was the last working day of Justice Hemant Gupta. Right. So, Hemant Gupta, the normal convention is that the retiring judge sits with the Chief Justice. So, he was sitting with me. We rose at 1 o'clock. The matter, therefore, because the Chief Justice's court was not available, the matter got mentioned before Judge Number 2, that is Justice Chandrachol. Right. It was around 3.40 or 3.45 that the matter was mentioned. The prayer was, of course, for stay. This I... I got to know after, after everything. And uh, the request was made that let there be a bench on Saturday. The order records the, the order records the submission that yes, this is the submission. So I was about to, because 4.30 is the normal farewell by the bar hmm. to the retiring judge. Hmm. So I was about to leave for that. That's when the registry officials come to me and say, that, sir, there is a, an order which has been passed, which contemplates file, you know, forming a bench on Saturday. But Justice Chandrachuda, from what I understand, had refused. He refused to say that. But how do I know? Okay. How do I know at that point? He, you weren't aware that he had I wasn't said that aware. There was no I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware because, because the registry official simply came to me that, you know, there is a bench to be formed. Okay. So I said, very well, I'll be meeting all the judges now there at the farewell itself. 